submucous fibrosis submucous fibrosis is in the deposition of the fibrous tissue in the oral cavity and the pharynx due to the fibroelastic transformation of the connective tissue in lamina propria which is mostly uh, result in the epithelial atrophy and in often uh, formation of the vesicles in the oral cavity in most of the cases uh, uh, the habit of battle net chewing drinking or smoking tobacco coupled with dietary deficiency are the causes of the submucous fibrosis in this video i will just tell you about the pathogenic mechanism that is involved in the formation of submucous fibrosis in most uh, of the cases there is uh, the the etiological factor that involved in this fibrosis is the chewing of the erica nut how erica nut uh, chewing causes the fibrosis in the oral cavity i will just tell you in this video so let's start erica nut chewing whenever we um, uh, chew we take in the erica nuts uh, in the form of pan uh, the central ingredient in the erica nut is the air choline Uh, so oral submucous fibrosis is considered a well mediated a cell mediated immune reaction to the air choline to the air choline in the erica nuts it may also reflect that there is a uh, interference in the deposition and the degradation of the extracellular matrix in the oral cavity that result in the formation of submucous fibrosis so it may also reflection a uh, localized collagen disorder or an autoimmune process in the oral cavity that result in the formation of submucous fibrosis whenever we take in the erica nuts in the form, in the form of pan uh, there is production of the t lymphocytes and the macrophages due to the active activation of the immune system of the body so this activated t lymphocyte and macrophages increase in the body Uh, so um, along with the high cd4 to cd8 lymphocyte ratio in the sub epithelial connective tissue uh, this suggests that the oral submucous fibrosis is a cellular immune response but there is a, also a minor amount minor role of the humoral immunity in the osf in this case b lymphocytes also increases in the body but it is of Uh, uh low importance so i will just tell you about the cellular importance cellular immune response pathogenesis so whenever there is t lymphocytes the macrophages are increases the activated t lymphocytes contribute uh, by two mechanism either through anti fibrotic cytokine production reduction and increased production of the fibrogenic cytokines activated macrophages and t lymphocytes produce fibrogenic cytokines which act on the mesenchymal cells as well as these mesenchymal cells produce the pro proliferation of the fibroblast that mesenchymal cells that increase the proliferation of the fibroblast that ultimately result in the increased production of the collagen and when there is a increased production of the collagen it uh, deposit in the sub epithelial or the connective tissue of the oral mucosa that ultimately result in the submucous fibrosis on the other hand the increased production of the t lymphocytes uh, also produce cytokines liberated by the t lymphocytes uh, down regulate the collagenase production when there is the collagenase production is reduced um, this causes the decrease in the degradation of the collagen that uh, alternatively increase the Mm, deposition or the increase in accumulation of the extracellular matrix including especially collagen so this also or result in the fibrosis of the oral mucosa so this is the pathogenic mechanism of the submucosal fibrosis